Hey everyone, welcome back to the Excel channel. If you have dealt with the check engine light that just won't go away, confusing fall costs, or you just want to take care of basic results at home, this video is for you. Today we are diving into the Ansel FX6000 Lite, a smartphone system diagnostic tool built for dyers, one dealership level functions without the dealership costs. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. The FX6000 Lite features a responsible 6.2 touch screen, plus physical buttons for added control. You got a Type-C port for fast charging on the side and TF card for the expanded storage for reports and data logs. If this is your first time using the tool, we recommend charging it fully, connecting to Wi-Fi and checking for software updates. Lifetime free updates, no registration needed. Alright, let's fire up and dive into what it can really do. Once powered on, you'll see a clean, user-friendly interface. The main menu includes auto search, diagnose, OBD, maintenance, file, consult, service, feedback, update, and settings. Swipe down from the top for quick access to Wi-Fi, screenshots, and screen recording. Let's start with auto research. The scanner automatically pulls your vehicles, make, model, and year within seconds saving your time and awaiting manual input. Once you are in, hit health report to generate a full pre or post repair report. Great for mechanics, easily chain or print reports for your clients to boost your service professionalism. After the scan, got some fault cards, just hit clear DDCs. The FX6000 Lite will put in the cause across system. No need to dive into each model one by one. The consult section breaks it down for you with DDC definitions and suggested fixes. You also find user manuals, tutorial videos, and a full vehicle coverage list here. The FX6000 Lite support for key system engine transmission, ABS and SRS. That means you are getting full coverage of your vehicle's most critical safety and performance models, which is essential for any dyer. Let's hop into the engine system with live data support. The FX6000 Lite displays real-time readings in both list and graph formats, helping your premium ISIS faster, improve accessory, and even catch potential problems before they happen. If the data points to a faulty part, you can run active tests right from the system. That means checking components like injectors, cooling fans, valves or relays in real time without removing a thing to see if they are working properly. Alright, let's head back to the main menu. The FX6000 Lite offers manual diagnostics so you can select your vehicle into step by step and still assess system scans. That's especially useful for other vehicles. Planning a smoke test, FX6000 Lite shows your I am ready status so you'll know if your car is ready for inspection before heading out. To help you take better care of your vehicle after routine mining netters, the FX6000 Lite comes with seven essential reset functions. For example, with battery machine, it sync the battery system after installation, helping avoid issues and extending its lifespan. These resets are must-have after oil changed battery swaps or brake service to keep your system calibrated and your ride smooth and safe. If you'd like to review safe DDC report or historical live data, just head over to the file manager. From here, you can open a safe print and even email reports directly. Perfect for record keeping or share with clients or colleagues with needed. Run into trouble during diagnostics? Tap it back to upload logs and screenshots. Our engineers will take it from there. You can also tap support to reach our team directly. No long wait times. Under settings, you can find your device and like the serial number. There is also wireless screen mirroring. 
great for training or demos, and access to VCA diagnostics, a must-have for working on Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, and more. Whether you are dire or just one more control or your vehicle dials, the FX6000 light post pro level diagnostic in your hands. It for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.